It's an extremely controlled environment. So not everybody can get in here? But only very few people are authorized to get in here. How few? Uh, less than 100. We're going to go through the next level of security now. Well, we're going to take you a little bit deeper inside the data center. We're going down, aren't we? Yeah, here? we're going to go down a level. <laughs> There's even less people that have access to this part of the data so center. So how many people there? There'd probably be 15 to 20. The UPS data center is the mothership for all IT at the world's biggest package delivery company. What really runs this place is layer upon layer of security. It's a tier four building, one of less than 50 in the world, the highest category to protect IT. This is pretty solid. This is very solid. Why is there so much security here? Well, we house all the data here, customer data for all the packages that are moving, not only here in the U.S., but around the world. Housing all the data, 18,000 servers at UPS, holding 16 petabytes of information. So when I order a package and I get information that here's what my package is coming through UPS, it's all being processed through this. Exactly right. How many calculations are being done every second? 15 trillion calculations. So that's all happening? It all happens here. Also happening in these data centers, another concept that keeps the UPS machine humming. So redundancy is the key word here. Everything is redundant. That means if one system fails, others kick in. It's all batteries. It's all batteries. The 3,000 industrial grade batteries take over if UPS's two public power sources go down, and seven generators will take over for the batteries if they fail. All of this came in handy during Hurricane Sandy, which took out the power in this part of New Jersey, but not at UPS. As long as you've got fuel feeding the generators, you're okay. That's right. We can run for weeks. 